Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I am going to show you how I imported some invoices into my Kathy Test QuickBooks online file. And as you can see, I am in the Sales tab under the Invoices tab and I can create the invoices individually, but I don't want to do that because I have invoices that I can import into from another QuickBooks online file. Like I said, I'm just using this for test purposes. And I will put in a little note of caution in here. I am actually using a plus level subscription here with a QBOA connected tool. So this may or may not mimic your experience. So I just wanted to put that out there right away. So anyway, as you can see, when I click on the large gear icon, I have the ability to under the tools to import data. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that link and that way you can see what we end up with on the next screen here. Okay, so we are in the import data screen and as you can see, we have various ways to bring this data into our QuickBooks online file, including importing QuickBooks desktop data, which we do not wanna do uh, for various reasons. We can also connect to the App Center and use an app to import sales receipts, invoices, and expenses, which we're not going to do. What I want to do is I want to click on this invoices link here, and that will take us to where we can download that sample file. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so fast forward a little bit. We've already downloaded the sample CSV file. We've also downloaded the import guide which you might need to review. And there's also some caveats here. Before you upload, you need to add the new products and services list to QuickBooks, which we've already done in a previous video, and I'll put the link in the comments below. And it talks about uh, some data limitations, but once you download that file and get everything integrated into that CSV file, then we can go ahead and upload that CSV file. And that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the CSV file so we can go ahead and start the import process. And the other thing you wanna do is make sure that you check the button for add new customers to QuickBooks in case you might have left one out of your list. So here we go. Okay, so we are starting the import process, and the first thing we have to do is we have to map all the column year headings like we did for all the other lists that we imported in up to this point. I also had to go in and make sure that the date, month, and year format match what's in the sample file. So now I'm ready to click on the next and go into the next screen. But what you will see in the next screenshot is that I had some issues that we're going to discuss because it'll probably help you as you're going through this process to be able to see what happened and why it didn't take the first time. So let's go ahead and look at that and we'll talk about those things. Alrighty, so here I'm gonna tell you what I had to do to fix these things because I did not realize this when I was going through this. Apparently you have to make sure all your customers in your file match the QuickBooks display names. And so I had to go back and fix all of those to make sure that they match and because I didn't want to duplicate anything because remember I clicked on that add customer if they're missing from the list I didn't want any duplicates going on in there and the other thing I had to do is I had the net to add the net 10 terms because one of my customers has net 10 terms so I went ahead and did all that so now I'm ready to go ahead and start with the import process again going back to all that other stuff that I did. And then once I did that, you'll see my result here on the next screen. All right, so I went back and made those corrections and now it's saying that I'm good to go. It's telling me that 37 new invoices will be imported and it looks like one new customer was found. And so when I click on the complete import button, it should go ahead and work smoothly. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so it'll take a couple of seconds or so for the import to complete. And then once it does, you'll see the confirmation on the next screen. 
All right, so as you can see, it's saying nicely done. We had 37 out of 37 invoices added, and we have one new customer that was added. So all in all, we had a successful result here without a whole lot of extra work involved. So I consider this a success. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. Y'all have a wonderful day, and take care, everyone. We will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.